and what they're going to do with it. Find out later in the show how they get on. Well, it's been a while since the owners picked up the keys to their new properties. I wonder if they're going to sink or swim? <laughs> Let's find out. Once upon a time, well, about four months ago, I met Maggie and Rick, proud new owners of the Windcliffe Hotel on the Isle of Wight. They paid £750,000 for it at auction. They plan to reopen it with an enchanted theme running throughout. The building, gardens and dreamy location certainly lend themselves to it. Well, um, obviously what we took on was a, a really old Victorian building and we had this dream of, of doing this enchanted theme and uh, I think after four months of seven days a week hard work we've, we've finally come to fruition with it. Well, I don't know about you, but I'd say that this particular fairy tale is off to a pretty flying start. Well, what we did here was it was a very dull, dingy, Victorian-based uh, uh, lobby reception bar area. So we thought, let's make it enchanting, open it up, let's do the wall, uh, ceiling murals, um, lovely uh, light uh, wallpaper coverings. Uh, then we go down to this fantastic mosaic on the floor, and obviously the, the beautiful pine furniture at the back there lifts the whole thing. And as we move through, we've got a fantastic dolphin uh, display there from uh, carved timber and down to your reception desk, which originally was very dark mahogany. So we lifted that with the colours, and then we've got this fantastic original painting on the back wall with those vibrant colours again. So I think we've created that enchanting feeling with these fantastic chandeliers as well. The poet W.H. Auden once said, the way to read a fairy tale is to throw yourself in and that's exactly how Maggie and Rick have approached this project. There are changes everywhere, including reducing the number of rooms from 14 to 7. Room 1, which is now the enchantment suite, um, this was a solid wall here with a pokey little doorway and it took us quite an effort to get through the wall and remove that because we wanted to make it open plan. And what we did was we gave it new ceiling, new wall across the back there and a new flooring and it's absolutely turned out fantastic, light and airy. We're happy with it. It wasn't just the bedrooms getting major makeovers. Well, this used to be the old dining room, but as we don't need it anymore, we decided to turn it into a luxury suite. 